The number you have dialed has been changed. The new number is... Shots. My name is John, filming After Dark with my friend Sean McCullough. How you doing, buddy? Very good. Great good to s- good to see you again. Good to see you. Good to always. And you don't need to be too formal. No, no. No. Pretty laid back stuff. So listen, at the age of six, singing harmonies, playing slide guitar, I mean, what took you so long to get into music? Um, I guess uh, the whole being a kid thing. Like, it was really cool when I was a little kid, and then when I got to be about 13, I'm like, ah, I'm, you know, not really, not not really digging it. I was more into playing sports and stuff. And then, I guess around the age of 15, 16, I started to realize that, uh, you know, I kind of the hair band stuff was out there. I kind of dug that, and you know, girls kind of dig musicians. That was my thinking at the time. Right. Now right. I could care less. I make it. I mean, it for me and make a living. But uh, that kind of brought me back around. And, yeah. So speaking of making a living, and, and how do you define success when it comes to music, Sean? Is it, is it about the money? Is it about, what is it really about it at where you are in your career? I, sometimes, I, I mean, I, I have to sit back and, and uh, you know, after I have maybe a bad night or something, I have to sit back and, and say, you know, there, there's, there's bad nights, there's good nights. Um, you know, sometimes you feel like it's about the money and, and you feel like you've really worked hard to earn that money because it was a bad night then you have a good night that makes it all worth it and then it's really it's not about the money it's about I'm comfortable making a living doing it and that's you know if I can keep keep you know a gradual pace going and keep myself on the up climb I'm happy you know if, if I never make it big you know like yeah I, it's it's, it's big probably big. not much different than being a small business owner like myself how do I define success I like to think the money is a byproduct of what I do I love kind of what I do and then yeah. I do it because I like it I have good days and I have shitty days yeah. and uh, you try to balance them out and have more good days and shitty days exactly like 
like it. My, my motto is one, one day you're Elvis, the next day you're wallpaper. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You just try to keep it uh, more the Elvis days if you can. So 2016, Fort McMurray Strong. I remember that. I was in here uh, with Cynthia doing some Life's Good fundraising stuff and uh, great song. 2018, Change, another song that I really like, really resonates, really good lyrics. Um, you know, I'm not going to talk about your guitar playing because it's obviously exceptional, uh, but the lyrics, uh, I love them, Sean. And then 2019, just recently, Sidewalks. So tell me a bit about Sidewalks. Sidewalk was uh, kind of a, an idea that a good friend of uh, the family, I mean, well, sort of married into the Norwood family, as you know, which are related to everybody around here, but Paul Bowles, a good friend of mine, uh, suggested one night, we were having a few wobbly pops, and I, I believe we may have been here, and he said, you know, you should write a song about that walk home, you know, write a song about sidewalks, and I kind of took it to heart, and next thing you know, I, I, I'm recording it, you know, so. Nice. I, mean, I think everybody can relate to it, because uh, anybody that drinks, anyway. Well, when you're drinking and that, you're heading home, you get basically have two feet in a heartbeat. Yeah. And that's how you're getting home, two feet in a heartbeat and uh, stay away from behind the wheel and that kind of nonsense. Yeah. Speaking of that, the, my show is called Espresso Shots. We typically have a shot of espresso, yes. talk about things with my guests and myself, but it's after dark, so we're going to have a shot of Jaeger because uh, right. you, you're uh, in now, you're, I'm in Sean's home. <laughs> so I'm going to just reach down and grab this Jaeger. No shakes? Oh. Not bad, eh? <laughs> Left hand is his trigger hand, though. All right. So we sipping this, or we? How do you drink this in this. your house? We, we shoot, shoot this. Yeah. Any traditions before we shoot it? Nah, just cheers, buddy. Okay. Cheers to espresso shots and live music. Cheers and to live music. I love it. Smooth, eh? Might have to change the name of the show to uh, Jagger Shots. Yeah. <laughs> we could write a song. Nice. <laughs> Very good. Um, Got my crib notes here, Sean. Um, so, what? Obviously, you play a lot of guitar. What was your first lick that turned you on? The first lick that you learned? One of the first ones. That I, I mean, the first thing that came to mind. It probably wasn't the first lick because um, I remember practicing all the, you know, all the Sweet Home of Alabama's and the Stairway to Heaven. Every guitar player kind of goes through that uh, thing. But one of the first licks that really caught my ear and was in about 1986 when I heard uh, Dwight Yoakam's Guitars and Cadillacs. Nice, yeah. I love that chicken pick and, you know, Telecaster stuff. And that every ever since then, I was a huge fan of that because I was into, like, a, the heavy stuff before that, you know, and the hair band stuff. I wanted to learn how to play that, and that was a cool thing at the time. But that came out and it just completely changed the, the face of country music. It's just so it cuts right through everything that 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 song that lick. And the does that. Great job at that. I don't know more than Girl, you taught me how to hurt real bad and cry myself to sleep. Show me how this can. But yet, yeah, Dwight Yoakam and those things that were playing in the background and Nitty Gritty Dirt Band mm -hmm. um, were good, solid country rock acts that, you know, still are with me today. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. I, I just, I, and I love all kinds of music, but it's just certain things that stick in your head and really grab you. I mean, it's the same, same with lyrics, right? You know, and you hear a good lyric that catches your ear and you feel it. And so, do you find it hard to come up with lyrics when you're creating songs, Sean, or does it kind of just flow, or does it, do you, what happens when you, is it? Hit and miss. Like, I, if I say today, right now, that I'm going to go sit down and write a song, probably not going to happen. But where it does happen for me is, it is weird as I'll be driving along in the car and I'll get an idea to write a song. And I, I tend to drive with the radio off. After a gig, I'll drive. I don't want any, any more music. My head is flooded, right? So I'll come up with an idea and it sometimes will come in line for line and I have to literally, you know, get it in my brain, get a verse in my brain, pull over and, and make a note it in my, my phone or make a note and uh, it's, that's how I, my creative process works. Um, that's weird. But. Yeah, no, I suspect a lot of people are the same. Things come to you when you're struck by something, not that you're forced to write a song or write a book or write a story. Um, when it becomes natural, it's, it's definitely always so much better. And, uh, yeah, so listen, Sean, 
Marketing is what? Well, I'm not going to ask you what's next for you, and, and I'm not going to fill in all the gaps between from the time that you were young to the time that you where you are today, because you've done so many things. Uh, you've got quite a career, and anybody that would like to kind of read about Sean, I mean, he's he's played with a lot of great names, and he still plays with a lot of great names, and a lot more to come for sure. But the important thing about being a musician is is marketing your name, yeah. Mick Mars, for example, uh, Nikki Six. So I had an idea for you. I thought I was just trying to help you out because I'm a bit of a marketer myself. So I thought, Sean McCoolade. I love it. I can, and every gig I can crash through the wall. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. So Sean McCoolade is you know yeah. take it or leave it. I just thought I'd throw that out there, Sean. Do they make black Kool Aid like with the Jaeger? <laughs> Jaeger Kool Aid. There could be a drink that they offer at the at the Cove here. Oh yeah. Jaeger Aid. Uh, might be the new shooter, eh? <laughs> might be the new shooter. Could be the new like uh you know like Live Aid. Could be like Jaeger Aid. Yeah. Farm aid. Uh, raising money for poor musicians. So what is next for Sean McCullough? Where do you see yourself heading? Well, I'm, uh, I just released Sidewalk to um, Sirius XM radio, satellite radio. Next step is releasing it to FM radio, which uh, is coming up within a couple of weeks and just tying up a couple of loose ends. Um, booked uh, pretty much solid for the year, a um, few openings, and some pretty good shows on my own as well as stuff with uh, Bria Lawrence and as well playing guitar for her and uh, another single from there. September it's pretty much ready to go so, oh nice yeah nice so you must be tickled pink a little bit when you see your name kind of coming up on Sirius Radio it's like oh, it's, no yeah that was a huge landmark for me like I mean I could have quit that day and you know the first time that happened with change you know when people I have friends in Ohio that you know have messaged me a picture on their radio and I'm like this is so freaking cool, you know. Yeah. I never ever thought of that. I remember my, one of my first gigs showing up in, uh, I think it was Palmerston, uh, Palmerston Restaurant up in uh, near Plevna. And I uh, showed up and it was a uh, hot beef sandwich and Sean McCullough. And that was huge for me then, you know, right? So, and people, is, unfortunately, probably came for the hot beef sandwich. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh, man. Nice. <laughs> So, if somebody wants to catch you come play, I know you're here every Wednesday, on most Wednesdays anyway, where else are you going to be? Oh, I am at uh, the Keystorm in Brockville this Friday night with Bria Lawrenson. Okay, nice. And then at one of my uh, all-time favorite venues in Kingston, uh, the Embassy Live Music Cafe, and they're a non -for like non-profit organization that raise money for the needy. Okay. And they feed the needy. They're under the umbrella of Lionhearts uh, Inc. in Kingston. You look them up, and they were just voted number one live music venue in Kingston uh, by a poll that uh, happened online, and uh, they are driving venues. So okay, and where are they located, Sean? They are at the St. George's uh, Hall, which is on One Twenty Nine Wellington, I think. Okay, I'm gonna like I always say, I'm gonna put a link in the in this video. I always tell people I'm gonna do that, then I never do. But I'm, I'm, I'll put a link in there. Um, that sounds like a cool because whenever you get to see live music in a really nice venue, it makes such a difference, right? Yeah, and we're back here. Actually, uh, Bree and myself are back here in on April. I think, I can't tell yeah, that, the exact I date right now. I think it's I Friday, April 12th that, or something yeah, like that. I'll, I'll actually text you the date. Nice. So we get it right. Nice. But, uh, so my uh, my uh, my cameraman is saying we're at our time. So Sean, would you okay. would you would you play us a tune? Sure. I yeah. Can do that. Would yeah. you like to do one of your one of your originals? Sure. Why not? All right. Let's do it. I've heard it yet? That's my uh, my new single here. John and I have lived this, by the way. I have. Anyway, back here. Stopped off at the Keystone Pub Gonna have a Jagger and a cold one I'm Sure been a long day At least that was my intentions Cold beer is the best invention God made We just came and took away my keys Said the only way of getting home Is your two feet Sidewalk. Wait a minute, that just got me thinking. I can stay and do a little bit more drinking. When I get home, it'd be hell to pay for hell. I never 
really liked her that much anyway. The bartender just yelled, it's closing time. So I'll pay my tab, then I'm gonna hit the ride on the sidewalk. Well, I've walked this path so many times, I know every crack and every street sign. Even had some real good late night talks. It's like someone turned up the gravity. The sidewalk's just as drunk as me. And I sure feel like throwing up. Man, it's getting real tough. Just try not to fall off of the sidewalk. Gravity. The sidewalk's just as drunk as me And I sure feel like throwing up Man, it's getting real tough Just try not to fall off of the sidewalk This old sidewalk Awesome, Sean. Someone turned up the gravity. I love that line. <laughs> I stole that from Carly, actually. She's always like, it's a lot of gravity in here, isn't it? <laughs> so, nice. Uh, well, thanks again, Sean, for uh, taking the time to talk to me on an espresso shot. If you like my channel, please subscribe. We're at 71 viewers. We're trying to get up to 1,000. Denise, thank you for